In this A-level IB biology video, we're going to be looking at various forms of energy storage that will include a look at both fats and oils and glycogen and starch. And we'll talk about the advantages of storing energy in the form of lipids rather than carbohydrates also. So the two types of energy stores that exist include lipids and carbohydrates. Now, in terms of lipids, we're either talking about fats or oils. We remember that fats are solid at room temperature, whereas oils are liquid at room temperature. In terms of carbohydrates, if we look at their storage compound in plants, remember that that is starch. And in terms of storage of carbohydrates in animals, remember it's stored as glycogen. But what are the advantages of using lipids as a long-term energy store? Well, firstly, the amount of energy released in cell respiration per gram of lipids is actually double the amount released from a gram of carbohydrates. So our first point is that lipids are a far more concentrated energy source. Let's just look at what I've written. So the amount of energy released in cell respiration per gram of lipids is double that released per gram by carbohydrates. And therefore, the same amount of energy stored as lipid rather than carbohydrates adds only half as much to the body mass of a person or an organism. And zooming in on how lipids and carbohydrates are stored in the body, well, the fats form pure droplets, which crucially are unassociated with water. Whereas if we take the carbohydrate glycogen, each gram of glycogen is associated with two grams of water. So you can imagine that's going to feel pretty heavy indeed. So effectively, fats are way more efficient and they're far less heavy when compared with the same amount of energy released by carbohydrates. And why is that so important? Well, it's particularly important in organisms that can fly, such as bats and birds. They really can't be weighed down by their energy store.